So today is going to be amazing. We actually have decided to hang out in Florence because it is so great here. And we are actually going to the Duomo. We're going to go walk around the other side of the river. I think it's called the Arno because that's what it is in Italian is the river. And so we are going over there to hang out and go and explore all the shopping and all of the cool places that we can go. So off to get some espresso because that's the Italian thing to do. Florence is uh, not the small sleepy town that it used to be, but it's still got that wonderful charm. Yeah, we're loving it here, it's beautiful. here for study abroad. It's so ornate and gorgeous. The dome, of course, is like the famous landmark of Florence, but the whole thing is gorgeous. If you come around the corner here, you can see the whole second side of it, which is just absolutely amazing. Hi. And then over here is the baptistry, which is known for the famous baptistry doors. is most famous for a lot of people buy leather jackets here leather shoes leather bags we all just bought leather jackets um, it's beautiful Florentine made in Florence leather when you're shopping make sure you check for the label that says made in fed ends um, you know it was local made here a lot of these merchants sell a lot of the same merchandise you can usually get a good deal if you know how to barter every price is negotiable in these markets because if you're shopping with friends or with a group if you all want some of the same things like wallets or jackets or purses is buy them from the same place. If you buy in multiples, usually they'll end up giving you a better deal. So make sure you come with cash, with your euros, ready to kind of talk down the price. I always recommend going at least 10 to 15 euro below what they're asking and they'll probably meet you somewhere in the middle. We just had a morning full of shopping. We all got leather jackets, <laughs> everybody. Um, family that buys leather jackets. We got lots of Christmas gifts for people at home. We did great. We went to the Central Market here in Florence. I've never been there before because when I was living here, they didn't have it kind of in that area. It was a different market, but it was awesome to have it there all together. And now we're having lunch at Trattoria Zaza, which I've also never been to. So we're excited. A little bit of lunchtime Prosecco. Woo. Where are all the treasures? Cheers to spending a day in the best city, in Italy, and shopping, and taking our time, and enjoying the day. Cheers. Um, Cheers. 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 This is the chili pepper plate. Do you love it?
finished up our shopping in the Central Market and we've got our swag of everything that we ended up getting and which is amazing. Um, and now we're heading back to our apartment. We gotta switch over the laundry because that's kind of one of the things you gotta do when you pack small and travel for a longer time is you gotta do laundry. That's the only way you can do it. So we're gonna go flip that over and go out for the night. Ciao from our first full day in Florence. We finished with gelato, of course. We actually went back to one of my favorite gelaterias from when I was here during study abroad. We used to call it the cave, that is not its name. Its name is Cantina de Gelato and it's delicious. It's amazing. I like this place because they always have really interesting flavors that you can't find anywhere else. So I got cream, honey and walnut, pistachio. You got hazelnut crunch and something else. And chocolate rum. Chocolate rum. And Allie got black cherry. Cream, cream and uh, dark chocolate. But they also have like figs and all kinds of cool things in there. So if you want interesting flavored gelato, come to this gelato. It's so, mm -hmm. so, so good. And we're just enjoying the sunset on the Arno, walking home. Like I'm living my best life today. Just spent all day strolling around my old town, loving every second. So it's all good. And so it's the end of our next night. And then we have tomorrow. Tomorrow we go to the David at the Academia. And then we go on a bus tour. It's gonna be great. I used to ride motorcycles back in the day, and so I love it. I'm super excited, but all of us have to ride our own Vespa. You guys are gonna let me drive a Vespa? I can't even drive my car. I usually had to tell her to lean with me on most of the turns, so it'll be interesting to see how she handles this. She doesn't like riding bikes. I can't ride a she bike. Can't ride a bike. <laughs> she can't ride a bike, but she's going to ride a Vespa. Why would they let me do that? Well, but I we... think it's easier than a motorcycle because you can just sit. We're doing it in the country. We're not doing it in the city. We're going out to the countryside. Well, we'll link all the info oh. on the tour in the next video, but that'll be the next video. So look hmm. forward to that. See you then. Bye. Bonasera. Bye.